it, it really is humbling. I'm a very lucky man. Greg Cooper is recuperating after having a liver transplant. Cooper was struggling through life with a liver that was being torn apart by disease, but he found hope with a new organ from a friend. Good evening, I'm Dave Sess. I'm Mandy Noel. As First News senior reporter Jerry Ricciuti tells us, Canfield Athletic Director Greg Cooper says little by little he's getting his strength back. Three and a half months since his surgery and the difference is unmistakable. After receiving a liver transplant, Greg Cooper's color is back and he's gained about 30 pounds. At one point, he was down to around 190 because of the disease that could have killed him but didn't. Tends to uh, uh, rob you of your muscle mass. I mean, you, the body consumes itself. After spending six weeks recuperating at the Cleveland Clinic and then at home, Cooper returned to Canfield High School as athletic director in December. By that point, I felt felt respectably well. Uh, could get up, could could you know take care of day-to-day -day business. That now includes twice weekly blood tests to be sure his new liver is functioning and anti-rejection drugs which he'll take every day for the rest of his life. It also means the retired Navy captain can hold his newborn granddaughter Caroline. Cooper and his wife Dana gratefully admit they've had a lot of help including friends who established a foundation to help pay their expenses. Every time someone would come in I would go I mean, literally, I didn't think I could be speechless, but was held speechless quite a lot. I would love to say thank you to so many people who did so much uh, that there's no way I can say thank you enough. His living donor, Canfield wrestling coach Dave Crawford, is also recovered and back to work. Dana says both families are very lucky. They get to see what a real hero is, because both what Dave did and what Greg did in his former life, that's incredible. In Canfield, Jerry Ricciuti, WKBN 27 First News.